Welcome to my YouTube channel program in Dunia. Today I am going to discuss about the CQRS pattern. So in this video I will cover what is the CQRS pattern and why CQRS is required and how we can use CQRS and also we will discuss about the advantage of disadvantage of the CQRS. We can start with the what is the CQRS pattern. CQRS stands for the command query responsibility segregation. A pattern then separate read and write operation. Like in the CQRS command the query responsibility segregation, we, we must separate the operation of the reading the data from and writing the data. So if we talk about the curl operation like we have insert, update, delete and get API. So we can divide the different different operation for that like each and every uh, operation we have a different classes. So this is the CQRS. So why CQRS is required I will discuss on the so, so before that, like uh, generally, like we can discuss about the monolithic application. In the monolithic application, we have we can directly use to a single uh, class. The single class, like single employee class, I can take the example of that. And employee class, we are using for the gate operation. We are using to insert, update, delete operation. So, so in this example, like here, you can see like uh, we have a single layer. Uh, like in the update and query, we are firing through a single class that is called the employee class. So, so what's problem with that? Like if we are uh, uh, like uh, we have a small skills application, then we have no issue, but the application are getting growing. And uh, in the later on, we we want some of the property into the gate API, but we doesn't want to get into the insert. But we have to put into the single model. We have a single model for the create a gate API. So this is the one of the disadvantage of the monolithic application because of when application are getting growing so some of the field which is not required to the gate still we need to uh, put into the the particular single model like single DTO class we have and also like in the later on like uh, the two the two team want to work separately they want to work for the uh, read and they want to work for the create it cannot be possible because of we have a single class for that so with the help of that uh, for that we are getting the lot of issues okay so how we can solve this problem with this we can solve this problem through the cqrs cqrs will help you to solve this problem so in the cqrs what we are going to do here like we have a ui and we have a query service we have a command service so in the query service we have a query model in the command service we have a command model okay in the command model it could be like a different different command model like insert update they have a different different command model so they are not related to the each other in that place definitely we are going to duplicate the code duplicate the uh, the property but we are providing the segregation on that so we are providing the solid of a single responsibility they have their own responsibility in the query they have a single responsibility they can get the data in the insert they have a single responsibility they can create the data and update like what are the property we require for the update we are done we do not want to update the all property then we can put into the only these property so this is the advantage of the cqrs here we are going to uh, duplicate the code but we are providing the single responsibility principle so each and every class they have uh, their own responsibility so this is the one of the advantage of the cqrs if we discuss about the advantage like uh, so this is the one of the biggest advantage of the cqrs each and every class there have a single responsibility so we can also provide their own security mechanism of each and every class and we can put the validation like validation is not required for the query model but it is required for the insert so we can do it that way also so we can provide the security validation so this is the advantage of the cqrs and also we can uh, increase the performance and we can uh, increase the security and security as well okay and cqrs also used to the event sourcing so if you guys know about the event sourcing if you don't know please uh, go through my video of event sourcing and cqrs is always helpful for to improve the performance of the large project and what is the disadvantage of the cqrs we are going to repeat the code repeat the property on that but yeah definitely we can manage on that part if we are getting the lot of benefits on that okay now we will discuss about how we can use to the cqrs in our the, the first what is the CQRS? I have already told you why CQRS is required and advantages we have already discussed. Now I will explain you how we can use the CQRS in our application. Okay. I'll, I'll show you. I have already created one application for you. I'll share this link to uh, 
in the description git you can uh, check the link on the description where you can find the uh, link and you can also uh, go through the link and uh, get the idea about how the sqrs does work so here what i am going to do uh, here you can see like uh, if uh, we have a monolithic then we have a single model but here you can see we have a two model then create model and read model i can show you in the application here in the model so this is the create model whenever i i will create my the employee class then i'll use to the create model whenever i want to get the data of the employee class then i can use to the read model i will show you how we can use these things okay this is the employee controller so here we have a two uh, api endpoint one is the get and one is the post okay so get i am going to get the all employee data so in the all employee data what i am going to do here i am sorry yeah i am going to return to the employee read model not only the sing employee class i am going to create a different class so what i am going to do here i will show you if i can go to the here i am going to we have a two type of repository i can show you in the repository part and then first actual here we have a two type one is the command repository one is the query repository in the query repository we will write only operation related to the query you cannot save the changes here it totally segregated from the command and in the command we can write something like create update delete these are the operation we can put it here okay and each and every like if we are going to create then we have a create model if we are going to update then we have a update model should be here and delete model so we are providing to the segregation for that so that we can follow the cqrs design pattern cqrs pattern for that so here you can see uh, i'll show you on that part if i can go back in the uh, i am going to create uh, initialize the repository and going to get all then i am getting the all employee data then with the help of the auto mapper i am going to uh, get written to the imp employee read model here i have already configured the auto mapper here i can show you this is the auto mapper if i uh, read model to employee employee to read model reverse map also done is not required but yeah create model and employee so same thing i am doing here like uh, once we can get the data from the query repository then i am going to return the read model okay and while uh, creating the employee class then i am going to create through the employee model here you can see uh, this is the repository i can just show you one second this is the employee class this is the create employee command so what are the different different command we have okay here you can see i am going to uh, help of the auto mapper i am going to create the employee class i have a, a create employee model then once i can get the employee model then i i am going to pass the employee to create employee once employee is created then i am going to successfully create employee so what we are going to here you can see we are going to segregate the things so like here we are going to the read model here we are going to create model like if i want to add some fluent validation okay so i can apply the uh, validation onto the create model then read model does not do anything on that part it totally segregate the things it totally separate the things if i want to add some more field to the create then uh, i am not worry about the read model the read model is same on that so here you can see like how we are going to segregate the data into the two part like command and query so this is the cqrs design pattern okay uh, i think i i will share this link to the description if you have any doubt just let me know okay i think i have cover everything what uh, what i want to discuss here i have already discussed about the disadvantage disadvantage as well so if you guys uh, if you guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you